are you two? So today we are looking at a Radiant player who invented a new type of swing in Valorant. Some people hate it, some people love it, but today we're reviewing the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Poppin. Famous for the Poppin swing. It's an insanely wide swing that catches a lot of people off guard. Anyway, if you guys want to see this stuff live, come on over to twitch.tv slash If you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. And also please go check out Poppin. I'll link all his stuff in the description down below. The first vid we're watching today, it's called Teaching Streamers How to Pop and Swing. Pop and Swing! How do you do that shit? Well, you swing and don't shoot until uh, they whiff? Yeah, like, like, you have to jiggle. The first thing you, you do, apparently, is you gotta until jiggle. Either they hit you one time or until you feel like shooting them back. All right, so if you get wide enough, then you don't shoot them until you're there. Has anyone actually used the pop and swing? And how often does it work for you? Yes? Okay. Just once. Pop and swing boosts confidence sometimes. It's kind of useless if your opponent has good tracking. Exactly. Oh my god. I feel like in higher elo, it works pretty well, mainly because people hold a lot closer because they don't anticipate the swing. It's so wide though, like you expect them to stop at some point. Ooh, we're about to see the pop and swings live. This is crazy. Oh man, the pop and swing, dude. Pop and swing is so good. Yeah, that's wild. Oh, now this one's just great aim. Holy crap. Holy crap, is he getting ace? Oh, unfortunately. You know, I feel like one of the things that also made it, like, super popular is because Poppins an NA and he plays against a lot of these, like, top-tier streamers and pro players. Because of that, it's gotten to a point where it's taken over the Valorant community, which is crazy because all the pros react and he gets all these clips. <laughs> and the reactions are always so good. Imagine it working on Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching the reactions though. Yeah, I guess you basically get extra clap if you're an NA. Everyone's an NA, that's the thing. Do you guys feel that it's only effective because players don't really track well in Valorant? Let's say you do it in Apex. It's a very different scenario for you to swing wide, mainly because you also don't really do that in Apex, right? I think it's because it's not usual. Bronze people will hit you in the torso. You slow down, they keep shooting, you die. In Valorant, gamers aren't used to wide swinging. If you're holding for like a pop and swing, you have to hold like super wide, right? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god. My man has crazy aim. Oh, my god. oh he's playing against Kaidi? Oh no, that's Kaidi doing it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, what a transfer! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Pop it swing them. Oh, against Asu? Oh no, no, no. My bad. He's just spectating. Oh, damn. Uh, it's on one right now. Wait, so if you're doing the super wide swing, wouldn't Jeff and Reyna be the optimal agents for these? If you wide swing like really far and you miss, I feel like you're just caught out in the open and you're kind of screwed, right? Mainly because if you miss your shot or if they get to reset the recoil under the assumption that they're going to spray and that... Every game has its niche Valorant has pop in the CS Andes have Xanters. It's all based on the game's mechanics you see. Oh, I see, I see. There's some method where people played in deathmatch and they wouldn't shoot their opponent. They just like swing really wide, hold it for a bit and then fire. I know that was popular for a bit and I feel like you're practicing the same type of swing. Yeah method was it invented by a guy named Yogi? <laughs> 
Red made it? Oh, I see. <laughs> well, I just told the Miyagi method, man. Motherfucking oh, kid has an op and he's running at me with a shorty like this disrespectful dog he is. <laughs> the troll reactions are funny, man. I mean, we... oh my god. Holy crap, man's cracked out of his mind. What the fuck is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's actually wilded. How do you feel though, Chad? Like if you get hit by the pop and swing, do you feel disrespected? Because oh I would definitely feel disrespected if someone swung me super wide and I couldn't hit my first shot and they eventually kill me. It drains your confidence. Yes, it's sad. I see. All right, let's check this next one. Killing pros with pop and swing. That guy has like a YouTube video of like wide swinging every fucking streamer. Pop and The pop and swing. I got recommended that. Yeah, look, look at look at all the. This dude is delusional if he thinks he invented <laughs> a pop and swing. Wait, where's the pop and swing? I want to see it. <laughs> ah, that's the pad. Oh. All pros going mad. Yeah, because it's not something you see. You don't expect people to do that. It's not optimal, but it works. Just look at that. Are you still MO? No, I'm unranked. The last time I played was Act 1. Hit MO and then I dipped. Ace? Oh, he went for it. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's just going in there. He's crazy. What the f- Hey yo, I thought I was watching like a zip tie vid today. <laughs> this is the wrong vid. Oh my- Oh my god, what the f- My vandal doesn't do that, man. What is that? Hold? Dude, he's crazy. Oh my god, it's split. You know what I'm really impressed with is that he keeps his composure even when he sees two people. He sees two, and then he has the composure to, okay, let me select this target first, and then flick over to this guy. Because I feel like a lot of people, when they see two people, they start to panic and flick to the farther target. I think pop and swimage is good on Val. As swimage? Also because the bold spread of the weapons. After three or four shots, it's difficult to hit precise while someone is moving. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because it is random after a while. Like, your spray gets random. Maybe it'd be less effective in CSGO where players are better at controlling their sprays. Mainly because there's a spray pattern. Oh my god, there's a dude on top of you. Oh, and he hits that. Bro, like, that is just not cool. Like, pop it. Use your... Brain. <laughs> I love it when they die and they just complain. It's funny because it works, but then it's also like, what the fuck is going on, you know? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, that one is the most disrespectful one. Jesus Christ. Threw my rank games a long time ago, and now he's fucking famous. <laughs> popping swinging. Unbelievable. Now I'm about to get popping peak. Oh man, that was good. That was good stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh. 
Holy man! It's correct on his mind. Oh! One v five. Oh Jesus! Uh oh! And he still won, dude. I thought he'd lose. Jesus Christ! My heart. Does anyone know who Poppin names? I feel like a lot of his clips are on like Jet. He means Jet? Oh, I see. Jet and Chamber? Gotcha, gotcha. I feel like people also underestimate the confidence you need to do the swing. Because a lot of players play very scared. They don't want to swing out and just expose themselves. But, you know, man's got the confidence. Straight to TikTok and go. <laughs> I also love how the streamers just know that they're gonna be clipped. Oh, 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 oh. My god, that is some clean aim. My word. Oh my Aim is so clean. So he also did say the moment you fire back is the moment you get hit once. I guess he fires back at that moment because he's slowing down or it helps him slow down too. Or he just doesn't want to die, right? <laughs> Yeah, once you get hit, you have to commit. Damn, that is so clean. Streamers are angry with this man. Maybe I make that my title. Would you rather be well known for inventing something in a game, like a pop and swing in Valorant? Or would you rather be like a T2 pro player? T2 means that you're not in a franchise team, you're not in the big leagues yet, but you are a pro player, you do get a salary. You can still go pro, you still can make it to a T1 team. At the moment, your only guarantee is you'll be T2. Definitely T2? Okay. Be good at the game is what I want. As a streamer, being famous is only one component. Invention, because that stays longer than my career. Okay, that's fair. Famous, you make more money. That's also fair. It actually depends, though, because if this music is copyrighted and he has, like, a bunch of views on this, I don't think he earns from it if he gets hit with DMCA. Oh, uh, he's half off. Let's see. I think it'd be more fun to be a content creator. I think it depends. Let me answer that question myself. I think I'd rather be a pro player than a, a content creator who is known for something. Because at the end of the day, transitioning from a pro player to a content creator is so much easier than transitioning from a content creator to being a pro player. And we've seen in the past that a lot of pro players have become successful content creators. Famous pros make bag. Tarek is a great example. Do you think you can make pro? Nah, dude. I don't have the work ethic for that. I don't have the skill for that. I am old and I, <laughs> I'm a retired player. Okay, I will say though, I feel like if I put enough effort, I feel like I could at least make semi-pro. I just don't care enough. I enjoy hitting a high rank, but once I've hit that rank, I feel like getting to that 0.001% isn't as enjoyable as improving from like plat. 
to Immortal. I feel like it's that initial learning process that is the most enjoyable for me. And that final stretch of grinding and just strategies and all that, that's not me, you know? Holy crap, that's a wide-ass swing. Sickening. He's actually insane. Man. Pop and swing. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. I'm popping it. You ready? Dude, this guy gets rolled, man. Oh. No f***ing way this hits. Oh, oh, I thought he jumped and just <laughs> down. Yeah, now that we've watched Pop and we should try out the Pop and swing in a death match. <laughs> I've been like, dude, he didn't stop. So I just jiggle this guy, right? My friend! He wasn't gonna kill me. That's what you get. <laughs> I feel like it's hard to practice this in a death match. Might be a lot easier in game because you know where people are. Come here, Chamber. I'm gonna swing you super wide. God damn it! You know, it actually works though. Like, not gonna lie, it actually works. I feel like if you saw this in a real game. That's it for checking out the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Poppin. Thank you again for allowing me to react to your video. In the list of inventions in Valorant, like using rain satchels to pop off with flights or the double shock lineups with Jonas, where do you rank the Poppin swing in terms of flashiness or in terms of anything?